So, so wait, when she's talking about like the max and min and stuff like that, is this kind of how it how it changes? So, um, ask a question, please, Justin. Oh, I'm just kind of exploring the shape and yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. relate it back to what I've learned mathematically. Cool. So first off, um, that shape, when you graph it, has a special, has a specific orientation. Oh, it does. Right. So Oops. we've we've just given you this shape. So in fact, sorry, if I can borrow it for a second. Yeah. Um, so you can um, touch it again to see where it's where it is. There it is. Okay. So that, give or take, if you just let it alone on a table, is yeah. sort of its proper orientation. Oh, okay. I thought it could change your orientation. Well, it kind of depends on what we're using it for. Oh. Right, we're still working out some of these details. So in fact, let me, let me point you to, um, move your left hand a tiny bit to perfect. Now this one, give or take, that's its proper orientation. Right, it's, it's not especially important. But you can feel what the maximum feels like. Yeah. So when she's talking about a maximum, she's talking about something that feels like that. Oh, cool. You catch what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, now a little bit further to your left is another graph. I'm gonna have to hold it in place a little bit. That's what a minimum feels like. You catch what I'm saying? Oh, this is so cool. I, I don't know, it just, seeing them actually in the third dimension just yeah. brings the math so much better. Cool. Cool, 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 right? Yeah. So now let's go back to the one that's all the way on your right, the first one you're holding. This one? This is an example of a saddle point. Yeah. So feel that thing in the middle. If you run your perfect, if you run your finger in that direction, mm -hmm. you feel how it kind of goes up. Yeah. And that feels a little bit like the minimum. Yeah. Right, but now run your finger in sort of this direction sideways. Oh, sideways. Feel how it goes, you feel how it goes down. Oh, okay. Which is a little bit like the maximum in your left hand. Yeah. So this one that's in your right hand is called a saddle point. Because in one direction it goes up like the minimum, so you might think it's a minimum. Yeah. But in the other direction it goes down like the maximum. Oh, okay. So you might think it's a maximum, but it ends up being neither. That's what a saddle point is. I guess I was confused when she was this oh, okay. I guess I was confused because when she was describing it in class, because I, I guess I thought, in effect, I, I didn't know she was switching, switching axes, switching directions. Yeah, and that, that's part of the, the challenge of trying to communicate this to you without being able to draw pictures <laughs> or give you models like yeah. this. Yeah, this makes sense now. Good, 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 good. That's a start.